Okay, a quick and easy way to put a watermark on your photo. So I'm going to go to photojet.com, that is F-O-T-O-Jet.com. I created an account and from there I'm going to go down to these three options and I'm going to click edit a photo. When that pops up, we're then going to click on the add text button. So that's over here to the left and we're going to upload our photo. So go up here to the top, click open. I'm getting mine from my computer. So I'm just going to click a random photo. This is just an old photo from years and years ago um, that doesn't have a watermark. And um, I'm going to click the text option on the left over here. So once you do that, you can click any of these. Now I'm going to click one that doesn't have the crown on it because I believe that starts your free trial and then you'll have to pay to use more features. And we're just doing this simple and quick just to put your name on this. So I have the text tool open. I'm going to move this over here and I'm just going to stick with the font that they gave me just for demo purposes. And I am typing in my name. So obviously that is super tiny and I don't want it that tiny. You can pull this all the way across. You can pull this a little bit. I'm going to just put it right over um, the dog. And I'm going to make it, actually I'm going to make it pretty big since this isn't um, centered. So, okay, so that looks good. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're like, okay, but that's covering your image. Yes, and that's what I want. I want it to cover my image so that no one can take this, but we're not going to leave it like that. So now we're going to go over to our color wheel and we are going to make sure that our text is selected and I'm going to click over here between like a white and a gray color. Now that um, that's dark still, but we're going to fix it. So make sure that your text is selected. You're then going to click effect. You're going to take the opacity tool and bring this down. That's how you get your watermark to not take over your picture and to still be present. So you can, I mean, and you can make this any way you want. You can make it really big. You can make it a little bit smaller. You can turn it. Um, so like you could leave it like that. Uh, you can turn this any way that you want. And also just remember, find the opacity level that works for you. I wouldn't go below like a 25 that's that gets kind of a little bit tricky and it might be easy for someone to come in and um, overlap your your uh, lettering so you don't want to do that now I would pull mine all the way up to about 40 to 45 so that's 43 so that looks good to me um, you may even pull it a little bit down more now oh, that's a 32. So I would stick to one of those ranges, whichever one works for you and you like best. That is a quick, easy, and free way to make sure that you have your watermark. Now, once you do that, if you don't like, um, if you don't like the way that that looks, again, you can pull it anywhere. Um, you can even put multiple if you want to add another one. So, but once you're done, you're gonna click download up at the top. And then you're going to name your photo. So I'm just going to name mine Emma and then select your format. So JPEG and then download. So um, you can skip this and then just hit download for free now and your download will start and it will put it into wherever your downloads go on your computer. So and if it doesn't start, just click download here and there you go. Then you would just right click, save images to downloads or save image as. And that's going to pull up um, exactly, you know, where you want it to go. So that is the best explanation that I have of a quick and easy way to get this um, watermark on your pictures for you. If you guys have any other questions, please just let me know and I'll be more than happy to help you. And again, I hope that this was informative and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.